guys welcome to today's video today is the pick a pile virgo reading so i hope that you find all your messages in these readings and let me know in the comments what resonates for you what this means for you take it as it resonates for you okay if you guys like these videos please subscribe like and comment i appreciate you all I'm super excited about virgo season the maiden the virgin that nakedness energy i just feel this raw like strip it down if you go to my end of the video i talk a little bit about this um the balance vibe that i get from virgo virgo season guys the maiden the virgin it's an earth sign and it is just so beautiful i feel like it's just the most organized, detail-oriented, practical sign. And these people really help keep it all together. Um, getting lots of feminine vibes as well because of the maiden, the virgin. Um, super, super cool sign. It's actually my rising sign. I'm always writing lists. I'm always planning things. I love a calendar. Um, piles pick a pile reading okay this is your Virgo pick a pile reading number one pile number two and pile number three you can choose from so I'll give you a minute pause this video pick which stack you're drawn to and you can click below to fast forward to your reading if you chose this Pile number one, the stack. This is your Mother Earth stack. So you are vibing on Earth energy. You're already, maybe you're a Virgo. Maybe you're an Earth sign. Maybe you're just like a hippie at heart and you're nature's spirit. In fact, if you know nature's spirit on YouTube, Maybe it's a sign to watch more, listen to more of that music vibe. Nature's spirit, getting out in nature more. This is a calling to be grounded. If you picked this pile, Earth pile, Mother Earth, Gaia. Grounding is key, getting into the earth. Earth magic, understanding the earth element is key. Taking time for stillness. These cards aren't wanting to come out. They want more stillness. And then we have a few. I actually do think that we're going to pull all three. So the first one we have here, Sacred Earth Mother. Sacred Earth Mother 42, maybe you're a mother. Maybe you're about to be a mother. A message of love, wow, this is beautiful. Green, the heart chakra. The heart chakra, how's your heart feeling? How is your heart? Physically, metaphysically, inside, within. Maybe you're 42. Maybe someone in your life is thinking about the sacred earth mother, mother energy, nurturing the feminine. How can you bring that into your embodiment? Can you tune in more to your heart chakra? What heart healing needs to be done? Do you need to hold yourself more? Maybe it's also, you gotta have some mother, mother healing. How's your mom? If you have a mother that you know, this could be a really, really important time to spend more time with mom or healing the mom line. Especially if you are a mother or about to become a mother, this is that energy. Perception beyond the veil of illusion. 
What was the other card that came out? The second one. It could be how you're looking at things. What's your perception of the situation? Your heart, the healing, the trauma. This could be an old heart traumas. Mother, mom, mom line. What's your perception? It's time to zoom out. I, I saw this, um, this just keeps coming to me, like often, this whole zooming out perspective, right? Like the perception is the same, same thing. Um, sometimes our perception could be really skewed and this like, you can see here, actually, this is the third eye. You can see, they have like a little, it's like your third eye's awakening and it's time to kind of clear the vision, clean the vision beyond the veil of illusion. Are you in an illusion right now? Are you seeing things that aren't true? It's time to take a step back and zoom out with your groundedness because it comes from grounding, it comes from the meditation, it comes from awakening the third eye that you're going to see clearly. We have a butterfly here, symbol of transformation. We also have the throat chakra. So there might be some communication that needs to be had. The butterfly, maybe your mother is not on this earth anymore. And maybe they're trying to communicate that you haven't been able to see clearly. Maybe they're showing up to you. And it's time to open your eyes and allow that in so that there can be healing. Wow, sacred heart. Passion, love, and spiritual communion. Wow. I, I love how it's actually the card of, the, this is the card that is of the stack. It's like the stack card. Passion, love, and spiritual communion. So this is about togetherness, number 12. This is like that 1212 portal, the gateway. Maybe September 12th could be a really important date, this Virgo season. Yeah, this is a this is definitely getting grounded. Communion, spiritual communion. Your spirit guides, your angels, they want to be one with you. God, source, divine source wants to communicate with you. And this could also be so that anyone on the other side that is trying to come through can come through. You are the oracle. And I think we forget that sometimes that Rebecca Campbell says in her books um, about us being the oracle and that without us, they cannot come through. There's no vessel for them to come through. So we have to remember that when we watch these videos or talk to other people, like we have this gift, we have this power, and it's up to us to sit and awaken it comes from stillness it comes from groundedness from earth energy these are really beautiful cards passion love a new union might be coming a new a new step in a relationship deeper love more love more passion, oneness, like the intertwined. I just saw the infinity sign, you know, like how the infinity is like, just like that. But, um, yeah, let's grab like two tarot cards. The Six of Wands. Six of Wands. It's time to maybe have a conversation. Work on some stuff that's irritating. If there's been some competition going on with anybody or frustration, argument. Getting clear on what the root of that is. 
How can you fix that? How can you move forward from that? Two of Wands. This is more partnership. Coming together with somebody. Needing to come. Me, maybe it's needing to come together. Maybe it's more partnerships, more creating. Solving the issues together. You're in a partnership. This could be that. Blew out. Strength. We're just... We're still in Leo season, and this is like the energy that we learned from this new, this Leo new moon that we just had. And it's having the strength and the courage to stick to your goals, to have that conversation, to go and meditate, take the time for you, care for you, having the strength and courage to make amends to to go and heal trauma heal heart trauma with those heart cards okay pile number one let me know if this resonates let me know what it means for you these little messages all right if you picked pile number two this is your reading this is, this is actually very similar, I feel like. I'm picking up like a tied in energy to pile number one. So if you feel drawn to pile number one, maybe this is a sign to watch and listen to that reading. Um, this is the, like, this is the heart deck, the psychic oracle heart, matters of the heart. This is all about the heart chakra relationships how's your relationship how's your relationship with yourself how's your relationships in general i know we're just um having venus retrograde right now look but challenging times is the first thing are you going through a challenging time you might be going through a challenging time right now number five i feel like this has a lot to do with communication with you might be feeling challenged of maybe needing to speak up. Maybe there's something you need to tell somebody, you need to say, or maybe be honest with yourself with. And maybe it's been a struggle and you're really going through it. Like, how do I share my voice? Maybe it comes to singing. By the way, I teach a singing class if you guys want to. And I also teach singing lessons. This might be a sign that that could be a good practice for you. Throat chakra work voice singing ah, la, 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 la. you know getting into that sharing your honest truth with others with the world this is why this time could be more challenging because that need is not being met that chakra is not being activated maybe it could also just be challenging times in general there's stuff going on so something to think about, something to look at. This one wants to come out. Balance, 14, balance, look at that. Yeah, if you guys watch pile number one, we're talking about this a little bit. That divine union, the spiritual communion. So balance, um, it's the yin and the yang, the ma masculine and the feminine, male, female. Okay, Virgo energy is very, I think it's a very, I think it's more of a feminine sign. It's more of that analytical, but it has this balance to it because it's this analytical, organizing, and practical, the practicality, that masculine practicality that we need intertwined with the soft maiden version. Still willing and open to learn so there's that balance, the balance of being the student, being the new, the new person, and then being the leader and the new, the teacher, the skilled already knows. So how can we balance that? Mm -hmm. Libra energy. And dear Libra. By the way, this hairstyle right here, I'm about to release a Virgo guide for like everything 
And this is like hair inspo for sure. You guys can see it. Here's my little reading setup today. Feels very Virgo vibe. A little shadow. Shadow work. This is time for shadow work. And also just if you're going through a challenging time right now, it's time to really get into balance, balance your life. Also, like physically, get better at balance, balance and yoga. I teach a dance yoga class. We do a little bit of balance stuff in there. You can come pop in. It's a donation based class. So maybe it's time to work on your balance physically too, because if you're out of balance in your body, most likely the, your, your, your inner life is out of balance. So another thing to think about, we believe and succeed. You have number six here, believe and succeed. So it's time to trust yourself. Time to really go for your dreams, go for the future. What is this? Is this like, this is a boat. Yeah, full steam ahead, full steam ahead. It's all there, you gotta just keep going, okay? If you've been like doubting yourself and thinking you can't do it, you can do it. It's about you believing in you, okay? So these challenging times are just triggered by your own subconscious traumas and beliefs, okay? So it's time to like take ownership for that and empower yourself to believe in yourself because that is where you truly succeed. The moment you turn that switch on in your mind and you say, I believe I can do this. I believe I am that, the great I am. Boom, there you go, doors open. You're on your road to success and success is yours. It already is yours. It just hasn't registered yet. You might feel like, I want more success. I'm not as successful as this person. I want this and I want that. It's already yours. Sometimes we just need to remember that. Grabbing some tea cards. Download tea cards. Also, a sip of tea. You might be called to tea. Come have a tea sit with me, guys. If you want a tea sit, please let me know in the comments and I will start doing tea sips. I do them in my mama group, so join if you're a mama. It is so wild and beautiful and important and a very magical practice to, mm, to sit with tea, tea spirit, mother earth energy, you guys. Virgo season is a great time. And these are the tea leaf oracles, wow. Box, you will receive a gift. Okay, some gifts are coming your way. Are you gonna notice these gifts that are coming your way? Sometimes we don't even notice little gifts. It could be time. Could be that you were allotted more time because something didn't happen something was canceled somebody you know you, you were able to get more time to do something that you wanted to do um, it could be an actual object something somebody donates something to you but you might be getting a box of something maybe you can give a box away How open can you be to receiving? It is time to open your heart. These are the heart cards. And receive. Be ready for it. Ready for that gift to come in. You might be if you're a Virgo, you might be having a birthday soon. Coins. Money will be coming to you. Virgo is really good money energy. Um, Virgo is that earth, like bringing it all in abundant energy. Okay, so. Money's coming to you. Get ready for it. Again, more receiving. Make sure also organizing your money, getting your finances together. What are some new ways that you can generate more wealth? Okay, there's like several cards that came out. Um, I have to use all these three. Okay, we have Seahorse, Family Matters. All right, take care of those Family Matters. Also seahorse, seahorse, ocean vibes, 
the sea. Maybe you need to go to the sea. Maybe you'll be going to the beach with the family. Water, going to aquariums. Love the aquarium. We have grasshopper situations in the balance that require careful handling. Situations in the balance that require careful handling. So these challenging times, right, that you're going through could be um, balance, more balance and really being careful, really being mindful and really opening your eyes, really seeing the truth. We have a younger man here, dealings or relationship with a younger man. Okay, if there's a younger man in your life, this could be about this person that you're putting more attention, maybe something about this younger man. What is that about? I want to pull one tarot card about that. Just for a little more clarity. Lots of things. <laughs> um, this one was the one that's sticking out. Five of Cups. This is the morning the past. So if you need to release a younger man or somebody from the past, this is a perfect time to do so. Matters of the heart and healing. Okay, the person could be younger, maybe. Or it, doesn't, it doesn't have to be, okay? What does this mean for you is the question. Okay, pile number two, that was your reading. We will move on to pile number three now. Okay, pile number three, if you picked these cards, these fairy cards, this is your reading. These are one of my favorite stacks, fairy vibes. You are a fairy. If you pick these cards, you are vibing with the fairies. And it's time for you to get outside, get into nature and go find those fairies. Um, the first card that came out is Ace of Spring. It's time to take action. Be fearless and happily pursue your most treasured dreams. Amazing career opportunities. This is a new beginning for you this season. Maybe you're Virgo. Maybe you're a Virgo. Maybe you're just an earth sign. Maybe you're not any of those. But this is a new beginning in all creative aspects. And following your dreams. Like really going for it. Um, this is like doors are opening. You have a lot of new career opportunities coming your way. You might be getting information, downloads, insights on taking the next steps. Just take them. Just do them. Don't wait another day. Just do it now. I have awakening. Ooh, 12. Change the way you're looking at the situation. Embrace your uniqueness. A temporary pause in the action. So this is also a great time for you to just sit with yourself and allow your spiritual awakening. Wow, we have the yin-yang symbol. We have Libra energy, balance. This is the balance card. Wow, balance has come up in every single one of these piles. If you're called to any of the other piles, go watch them. These are kind of all tying in together. I'm sensing a theme here. Masculine, that, uh, balancing the masculine and the feminine energy is Virgo. Virgo time. The new season is going to be a lot, a lot, a lot about balancing. Also, I just get the yoga vibes when I see balance. Maybe it's time to practice more yoga, come into balance. I have a really wonderful yoga teacher. I thought there was class this morning, but I guess there wasn't. And so I happen to be able to do a reading, which is amazing. But I do miss my yoga class. She does it on Thursdays also. But I also teach a dance yoga class. So if that's kind of you more your vibe, you can come and do a dance yoga class. And that's a little bit more movement, a little bit more uh, improv on your end. Um, but the Kundalini yoga that I do offers a lot of balance as well so whatever you, your call is you can comment and I will give you information so awakening yes it's time to take a little break and ground yourself in this Virgo energy this season okay get clear on your intentions your goals your next steps your next moves all right um, these spiritual awakenings like they come often and Sometimes we miss them because we're not as grounded as we think. So this is a really beautiful time to get out in the nature, fairies, fairy spirit. 
fairy spirit. Give your fairy spirit the time it needs to see things clearly. We have eight of spring. Wow, another spring card, which is the wand. Um, stress that comes from having many things happening at once. Successful multitasking, sudden events, or changes. So you need to take a break. Yes, balance, okay? You might have a lot of opportunities coming your way. You might have a lot of like energy and wanting to go forth to them. You gotta keep it real. You gotta take a break, okay? If you don't take a break, you're not gonna be able to clearly and um, do these things where they will last, okay? You want these things to be long lasting. So this is get where Virgo energy get into that more feminine. I can be a multitasker. I can keep multitasking. I can do this. I can do that. I can do all these things. Okay, so let yourself do it all. But when you get that stress, it's time to come back into balance. Okay, take some you time. Maybe it is do the yoga class or whatever. Um, something that you're interested in. Something that you know will help ground you and bring you back into the release. Okay. Animal spirit cards. Animals like the little companion for the fairies. We have Bobcat spirit. Life is a mystery. Enjoy all the unknown, okay? You're not gonna figure everything out all at once. You have to take the first steps, okay? Sometimes we really think we need to know how everything's gonna turn out. And no, we just need to like take those first steps. And figure it out as you go. That is the magic. That is the mystery. That is how life becomes more beautiful. Okay, we have eagle spirit. Spirit has your back. You are divinely guided. If you see those eagles in the sky, just remember they're soaring above you. They're spirit animals protecting you. Coming forth. Guiding your way. Okay, spirit's got your back. Always. They never leave you. Sometimes you are the one who's left. Okay, I know a lot of people that turn away. I don't know that many people, but I know a handful. They turn away and they say, God left me. No, it doesn't work like that. It doesn't work like that. It's a vibrational match, okay? What are you not noticing anymore, okay? So when people walk away, you're the one who left. They are always there for you. And if you've ignored, ignored, ignored for so long, they're gonna let you ignore. They're gonna be like, okay, fine. All right, if that's what you want. So just ask them back, because they will never leave you. So spirit's got your back, remember that. And then we have peacock spirit, let it shine. This is, this is something we definitely learned, I believe in Leo season and this Leo new moon that we just had. Peacock spirit, these are also very Virgo colors. That sapphire blue, navy blue, these browns and the, Wow, this is Virgo vibes. Peacock is Virgo vibes, okay? So dress like this, be your best self, get into the mode, okay? Also, I'm making a Virgo guide. Hopefully it'll be out before Virgo season starts, but greens, those royal greens, royal blues, earth energy. Download about Virgo maiden vibes is raw it's like braves you're the maiden it's like no makeup no like bare feet you know stripped down to your maiden to your version to your nakedness bathe be out in the earth if you can and if you have privacy to do this i know some people like some people live in where you can just go be naked on the earth I wish I did. I, I can't do that here in my apartment complex. I won't do it. I mean, I could do it, but I won't do it. Um, but do that. If you can, just get out on the earth and be naked. Like, this is nakedness, stripping down to your rawness, to your realness. And so this is the balance part. Okay, this is the balance part that I've gotten in all these readings. Um, you strip down to your nakedness, and then you put all everything on and you just go shine like a freaking peacock. <laughs> okay, so that's the Virgo energy. That's the Virgo vibe. And that is your reading, pile number three. I hope that you feel your fairy. I hope everyone who's watching this, I hope you enjoyed your reading. 
let me know in the comments how it resonated and what it means for you. And if you like these videos, please give this video a like, please comment and subscribe. And I appreciate you guys. Happy Virgo season. Much love to all. Mwah.